Hey guys, Zoggy Saints here and welcome to the channel. Hope you guys are having a fantastic day and I want to share with you guys my 5,000 hours of Lost Ark roster update. What it looks like after playing 5k hours of Lost Ark. I think we're at like 5,074 hours so I've been wanting to make this video for the last 74 hours and I just haven't found the time to do it. So here we are. Big update. This is going to be a long one. I'll have timestamps down below. We're going to cover like all my top six character. We'll go through like a full breakdown of my top six. And then we won't cover the rest of them because they're pretty much just low paying slaves for now. So we'll cover the top six in depth. I'll show you guys everything. And then my collectibles, my trophies, everything that we have on my roster achieved as free to play plus premium. You know, I've only really bought um, character slots, obviously character slots. I have bought those. So, you know, if you think that's not free to play, it's up to you. But that's not the discussion in this video. We bought character slots and two arc passes. That's all we bought on the account. So if you want to like see what you can achieve with that and just a lot of time put into it, stick around for the video. We will be live over at twitch.tv slash So come check us out. I love to see you guys there. We're going to be running a couple of raids today. We have some ivory towers and I think a Thayer mine left for the week. So we're going to be finishing those on the stream. Love to see you guys there. Without further ado, uh, let's hop into the roster update. So starting with my Slayer because it's her lucky day today. She did get her weapon tap. So we got the, the white glow. Now this is the calm weapon. So plus 18 on that. And we did also rebuild her because I've been rebuilding my characters all now slowly since they've all reached 1600, my top six. They've all reached 1600 and up. So I wanted to rebuild them all for like a really good build. So they're all getting their 5x3 plus 1 now. I know it's a little bit late, but I'm back and I'm doing it. So there we are. Slayer's Bob. She has her 5x3 plus 1. Adrenaline plus 1. Pretty good. The stats over there 1828 with 665 on the crit. Very good. The bracelet not amazing but not bad we've got investment and hammer with like really high swift and crit almost maxed out on both of those so really good for the stats over there and then the predator piece we have like 100 percent so that will replace that with an ancient eventually down the road when i have like 800k gold lying around for those but for now this is her build qualities she's my only character on my whole account that has 800 quality weapon so we got the 100 quality weapon on her and then everything else is pretty good as well 98 over this 80 74 77 92 so that is her qualities and then gems she only has sevens with one eight right now since i've just rebuilt all my characters and i got them their five by three plus one i am now going to start working on gems so my slayer is next up in line for her full gems i want to get her like level nines and eights on everything so soon we will get her some loving over there and then cards we have always uh, 30 for all of our dps as well as klc 18 all right here we are on my breaker he's actually currently my main so he is my highest character sitting at 1621.6 reason being i am tapping the weapon once a day keeps the weapon at bay is like we said we tap this weapon at least once a day on stream the ritual we do it one tap when we start the stream and uh yeah so i think i'm one tap away from actually getting the red glow yeah 22 is when you get the red glow i believe so we'll get the the white red pretty soon and then two more taps after that and we'll get the golden glow the gold white and then moving up to 25 obviously so that is what we'll be doing on stream today he's quality 85 on the weapon so it could be a little bit better i do want to get that to purple eventually but that's not like my main worry at the moment as i still need to do some other stuff on him elixirs oh i forgot to show you my elixirs on my slayer they're actually pretty bad i just cut them last week i think she has 26 points of just a random um, elixirs and my breaker has his 40 set so we can look there he has 40 set elixirs which i got last week as well nothing fancy over there quality wise 99 on helm there's all the qualities show you that real quick and then transcendence i only cut transcendence on week one i need to go back and cut transcendence again i have so much saved up i just need to go cut it so whatever you can achieve now i've cleared their mind pretty much every week maybe i missed out about two or three weeks since it's been out or maybe like one or two weeks i, I don't know i've had a lot of transcendence materials so he's going to go and do the transcendence on him and he should have quite a bit of extra power from there but he does have his elixirs uh five by three plus one on adrenaline ashura with a high crit good swiftness he's bracelet he has a sail with swift and then uh crit and the swift is actually maxed out so a really nice bracelet for now until we can get something better and gems he does have a level 10 on ashura punch we did actually gamble the first time on stream the first time i ever gambled a level 10 gem we got it to roll a damage gem and then we had to put it on the break obviously we took three socks uh three socks off the gem we took three gems off the sock three level nines to actually roll for this so uh sorry sock but you'll probably get your gems back maybe maybe not who knows we'll see and uh yeah cards again light of salvation 30 so he pretty much set on gems right now although i do eventually want to get him a bunch of level nine cooldown gems just to make rotating through stuff a little bit nicer and smoother so that is the breaker 
he could have a little bit of work done to him transcendence mainly and maybe the quality on the weapon but overall pretty solid pretty fun i really do enjoy the breaker all right so we're on to my supports now we have a artist and a bot let's cover the artist real quick she's sitting at 1610 her transcendence is uh, i mean not her transcendence oh, actually i haven't even done transcendence on her i need to go do that but her elixirs uh nothing fancy what i got 29 set well 29 piece on her so i do actually need to cut some on her as uh, uh we we have a few over there just just a few uh we'll, we'll get to that at some point um let's look at qualities what do we have we got blue on the armor and then we got pretty good on the weapon 97 over there that's 1750 6, 650 uh five by three i don't think that i need the plus one just yet on artist eventually once we start pushing her up to like 16 20 and above then yeah we will probably rebuild her with like a little bit more swiftness and the plus one probably crisis evasion or something like that on, on supports but right now i don't think i really need that plus one on my support so that's why they don't have it just yet gem she has full sevens and eights from the events and then on the support side of cards we have uh, master of spears maxed out and we do have lighter uh, lost wind cliff maxed out as well for the supports all right here we are for the bard my og character she's she holds the name augie saint she's sitting pretty at 1600 uh elixirs i i haven't actually cut elixirs on her yet so we need to go cut some on her she's only done voltus about three or four times but yeah i just i need to go cut elixirs i just when i cut elixirs i actually just want to uninstall the game and i really like playing lost dark so i don't like to do things that make me want to quit the game so that's why i haven't cut any elixirs yet but i need to get around to that so yeah she has some elixirs waiting qualities let's look we got green there purple there purple there purple there she actually has some really high qualities and then the other two have green unfortunate and the weapon's at 50 so we definitely gotta go try and get that up maybe we'll do that on stream today swiftness is 1805 650 spec and she has a 5 by 3 as well not a plus one yet like i said with my artist we'll get that later uh gems we have sevens on all the important stuff like all the buffs and then everything else is like sixes and a five we could actually change those around and put more sevens over here i have like 300 cubes that i need to do so eventually once we get to 1000 followers on twitch we will go and do a 24 hour cube stream i will love slash hate it so come follow me on twitch and you guys can help me or let me um I hate myself for 24 hours while doing Q, but at least I'll be chatting to you guys, so it won't be so bad. And then cards, we have the Lost One Clip 30. All right, here we are on the sock, my baby, for the last year and a half, two years. How long's Lost Ark been out? Too long. 1601, she does have a Arcan White Glowy Weapon, so plus 18 on that. 99 quality, like I said, she's the only other one, my, my Slayer with 100 and then her with the 99. And then everything else is pretty decent. Uh, we got 982 over there and everything else is blue, like 80 or higher. 1830 spec, 1622 crit. She, however, does not have a plus one. I do need a rebuild it, but I really like my adrenaline at level three. So I think Igniter Sock is probably real expensive to rebuild now. And I might actually be dropping her for Soul Eater once we do get the next Makoko Express event, whenever that may be. So she might just sit at 1600 for now for quite a while with this build. We'll have to see what happens in the future, what we get with um, any upcoming events. I might push Soul Eater or War Dancer up into my top six. Undecided yet, but I really like both of those classes and I do want to see. I think it's about time the Sork gets uh, gets a little, gets put on the bench for a little bit, just a little bit. I really do enjoy my Sork still, but yeah, I just, I want to try something else again. So Gem, she has nines and eights and sevens. Uh, she used to have like five nines, but um then breaker happened and he uh, hijacked some of her gems so unfortunate for her also elixirs i forgot to show you she only has 20 set i cut these like last week i cut elixirs for the first time on all these alts so i need to work on her elixirs but i'm kind of waiting until they get to like you know hard mode elixirs because uh, like the purple ones are just so bad to cut um what else we got to show you stats i showed you stats we showed you our bracelet uh in spec nothing special there just the stat stick really i'm gonna go get her a better one and then cards obviously LOS uh 30 so last but not least, out of my DPS, we have the Aeromancer. And Aeromancer is so much fun, guys. You guys need to try out uh, Wind Fury. Wind Fury is one of the most fun classes I have played in this game. It's pretty spammy, but it's just, it flows so good. I really, really enjoy this. And I was actually going to bench my Aero because I used to play Drizzle on her. And when I played Drizzle, I just felt like crying. It's like very slow and it's a burst class that doesn't do any burst damage so yeah we changed to uh wind fury really really fun 1802 uh, swiftness there with 1620 crit the bracelet we got over there swift crit yeah it could be a lot better it's just like stat stick for now 
qualities 75 on the weapon 90 80 87 97 97 so pretty good overall we could go tab up the weapon a little bit but like i said we've got other stuff to do elixirs on her nothing fancy again only 26 i only cut her first set of elixirs last week uh there's a 5x3 plus one gem she just has sevens and eights from the event cards uh light of salvation 30 so that is it for the aeromancer and then i guess i can show you guys the low pack slaves real quick so we have the gunsling i was actually going to push her up and replace the arrow with her when my arrow was still drizzle but then instead of investing because the arrow was already like higher up she had all of her account pieces and everything ready just to hone to 1600 then i rebuilt her to wind fury and like i said wind fury super fun really like it so we ended up keeping her in the top six because she's so fun and the gunslinger got benched for now so gunslinger sitting over there she does have full level sevens five by three no plus one a uh, very outdated build i probably need to go rebuild her so it was going to be a lot of investment to actually get her into the top six that's why i decided to just leave her there and then go with the arrow uh war dancer this may be a project of mine coming up soon whenever we get the next makoko express i want to replace probably the sock or the bard it's a little bit undecided between those two who gets benched but i want to bring up a war dancer or a soul eater either or we'll see which one we feel like at the time um she has a five by three on the old iso build so like 50 50 crit spec uh swift swift specs i need to go change that too that'll be quite a big investment and then paladin uh he just has a five by three and he has decent swift and then he has level sevens on his cooldowns just his buffs i think he has three of them two buffs and then one on the mark and then everything else is just like nothing there uh the scout just a five by three pretty average bro the spec is pretty low on him i think he has sevens as well seven damage gems so he's just sitting there summoner 1533 she is a communication overflow summoner with a a 10 5 rock one of my most weirdest rocks on my roster 5 by 3 and i think that's about it oh event gems level 5 event gems we have my sharpshooter sharpshooter really fun became a low paying slave unfortunately he has a 5 by 3 as well uh playing loyal companion on him with like i think 50 50 crit swift or mostly swift i can't remember soul eater we have a 5x3 on her on knight's edge so full crit and uh she's really fun i do want to see if i can push her up slowly i might actually start honing her now slowly before an event comes up because i really really enjoy soul eater she's really cool and i love the fact that she's hit masters so you don't have to like you know do positioning um gems i think she has fives or maybe we took all the fives off but yeah we can just easily re-gem those not too bad Zerka, he's still very out there. He's extremely low pangy. The rest of these are like all low pang. Past the Soul Eater, the rest are just completely low pang slaves. So he has a 4x3 on Mayhem. Uh, Glaive has a 4x3 on Pinnacle. Shadowhunter 4x3, Demonic. And then Gunhunter 4x3 with Combat Radiance. So 4x3 plus 1 with Combat Radiance at uh, plus 1. Those are all just super low pangs. They all have like 4s and 5s on them. Gems, I think maybe the Shadowhunter 7s on the two gems because she's Demonic. So that's about it for the roster there. So I'll show you guys the top six and then the rest are all pretty much low paying slaves. Um, my card XP is also pretty important to keep track of because a lot of people overlook card XP. We have 4.6 demon damage. We could get a lot more, but I actually don't have card XP because I don't run those great things called the cube, which I need to work on. So we'll start running some cubes and then I do actually have a lot of cards that I can level up. I just need card XP. So we can get this up to probably five and a half uh, if we go and get all the XP that I can get from cubes. And then let's have a look at my collectibles. Island Souls, we got 66 out of 99. Giant Hearts, 14 out of 15. I believe the last one, I'm just going to go do a quest for it. Omnium Stars, we are missing this one from Al Garcia. I do him quite often. Actually, no, I don't. I do this one quite often. Uh, this is the one from this place. So we're now Voldus. So we have almost all of those uh omnium stars and then masterpiece we're at 52 out of 60 i lost out on the gold on that one unfortunately but here's what it is music box i have never touched it i don't know what it does i'm assuming it's just a music box you know stronghold I haven't touched it we probably need to go do that eventually makoko seeds again i have never gone out of my way to find them that's just what i've managed to find over the two years of playing randomly so if you could believe it or not i found 375 of them by myself without you know going to look for them Ignea tokens we have what was it nine out of yeah nine out of 17 i got just enough on them to get the greatest skill point potions and the bifrost key for like una's dailies and stuff like that world tree leaves oh we actually have a new world tree leaf cool but uh yeah we just have 53 out of 91 as you can tell i'm not much of a collectible andy sea bounties we have 38 i believe i got enough to get the second wealth rune yeah because i was gonna play king fist and i did play king fist for like the first 
two weeks or so of uh, breaker launch but then we changed to you know the only way Ashura. so yeah we got the second wealth run over there on the collectible and then the last thing i want to show you guys is my trophy room in the stronghold so these are the deathless statues that's deathless uh, vicus i believe hardboard i mean that's old news and whatever there's all the statues and stuff this is deathless akan normal mode um there's like brawl and all this stuff there there's the towers uh t1 and two i think i have the three one somewhere this is my 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 highest achievement statue but not my favorite statue i'll show you guys my favorite statue this is for doing ivory tower hard mode deathless so we got him over there we actually got that with mr Bruley and mr Batterbooms on the stream so shout out to you guys you guys are gamers come check us out on the streams though you guys can catch some of that stuff live and then we come down yeah there's clown uh, deathless volton deathless i think yeah we have volton deathless but not enough statues to actually show him this over yeah my favorite statue of all time i don't know why the normal mode one looks cooler than the hard mode one but this is for ivory tower deathless on normal mode you get the cool dragon statue my favorite statue out of all the statues in the stronghold and that is pretty much everything i can think of pets i mean we could there you go i've got like all of these pets Pretty much standard stuff i haven't bought any pets it's just what we've been given and then i guess lastly mounts we can show the mounts that is all the mounts i have marble the bed the wings uh, i don't have anything fancy i think my favorite mount is probably the sushi mount the sushi beetle can we ride it in yet no we can't okay so that is officially looking looking i don't see anything else that is everything that we have done we have obviously achieved, we've completed all the raids up until what we can with the highest uh, item level. So we've done Ivory Hard Mode and Thaumai Normal Mode and everything that's before that. Hell Modes, we've only touched uh, Clown Hell Mode and we're still working on Gate 1. We've only been in there like two or three times. It's really fun, just haven't found the time to go back into it again. So that's what we've achieved raid-wise on the account. I've showed you guys all my characters and collectibles and everything. So that is it. Hopefully this video was uh, fun and uh, informative so you can see what 5k hours looks like. Let me know down below in the comments what your guys account looks like and how far. Oh, let me know how many hours you guys are into Lost Ark. If you're a new player, old player, love to see like all the different amounts of hours in the game. And whether you think it's still fun after whatever amount of hours you have put into it. But I love to see you guys on the stream so come check out the streams after this video. And if you liked the video, please drop a like and a sub. Helps me out so much, and I'll catch you beautiful people in the streams and the videos. Okay, say now. Run free and dive into the sky. Hear the